When working with an embroidery alphabet on the Husqvarna Viking Designer Brilliance 80, there is the ability to edit it. So here's what that means. So first off, let's just go ahead and select a font. I'm gonna just pick a Claritin size 30. And then let's say I wanted to go ahead and type in Viking. All right, and then I touch OK. So then it's showing on my screen for uh, what I have going on. And then I realized, gosh, that's really big. That's a 260 by 200 hoop, and it's almost eight inches wide. Well, what if I made the font with lowercase letters and a capital V? So instead of having to start over, you can touch edit. Edit will allow you to say, come back and delete what you have started, change it to lowercase, and then add it back in. You notice that it doesn't fill in as much uh, side to side. So that would be one way to edit it. Maybe you do something where as you choose a font, I'll just choose the same one, and this quilt label that I'm making, it, this project was finished in 2020. So I got it on the screen. Let's just go ahead and minimize that so it doesn't take over my work area. Slide it down. Remember that little yellow line will help us align it to the right, center, or left. Love that. I love that. All right. So we stitched this out, and then we realize that uh, we want to use it. Maybe we save it. We can come back in and then also come back and edit it and change it for instead of 2020, we could say change it for 20. 21. So that is something that you can do and bring it back in and have like all your basic information and then just be able to go in and change the date. So embroidery edit, so the editing of an embroidery alphabet, changing names, changing dates, um, changing words, you can do that without having to start completely over.